In this next video, you're going to be taping for shoulder pain to include the supraspinatus, subacromial bursitis, and the infraspinatus. When patients present with shoulder pain, it could be coming from a multitude of tissues coming from directly within the glenohumeral joint or the ligaments or the muscles around. If patients had pain more around this area, it could be more supraspinatus, maybe the bicep. Slightly lateral could be the bursa, the subacromial bursa, and if it's slightly posterior, it could be coming from the infraspinatus, posterior deltoid, or even by the teres minor coming in. So if I just mark with a sticker roughly where the pain could be, so if it's more at the anterior, we can treat. If it's more slightly lateral, or if it's more posterior, we can almost treat those three areas using kinesiology tape. So what we can do first of all is apply one of the kinesiology tapes and what I've done I've prepared a Y strip so we'll talk about this one first and we're going to offload the deltoid muscle so the deltoid muscle comes down onto the tuberosity so we're going to offload that one to start with so turn the tape over and break each of the individual legs and apply that piece of tape the pad around the insertion of the deltoid and you can literally just warm her up the first part, remember no stretch, and just let that hang. And now we need to lengthen the anterior deltoid, the first place. So if the patient is able to, we can put them into this position and lengthen the anterior part of the deltoid. If it's a pain, we can literally bring the arm back and we can tape in this position here. Okay, so if I put the arm in that position, so the first part of the tape is little to no stretch. Just feed this around the anterior fibers of the deltoid, like so. And the second part of the leg is to bring the arm forward and to turn the arm in. If that's uncomfortable, you can literally just bring the arm forward into flexion. And you can hold that position there. And then from there, we are going to follow the line of the posterior deltoid, like so. And now we can bring the arm back. And there's a corner, we can just stick down that little corner there and that should be fine. So that's part one done. So the second part is to decide on, do you have pain anteriorly, the supra, pain the bursa, or pain at the posterior part of the infraspinatus. If the patient has pain at the front, then we're obviously going to place the kinesiology tape directly over the pain. And the same with the bursa, and the same with the infra. So we're going to go with the supraspinatus. This muscle is responsible for abduction and it also externally rotates. So if a patient is able to, can you put your hand onto the lower back if that's okay? Just retract the shoulder a little bit, that'll do, not too much. So from this position, turn the tape over, split each of the legs, and apply the pad directly over the pain. So this is gonna be more for the supra. And if you notice how I'm doing, if I pull that, it tends to, to split the back in. So peel the first one back, and this one's going to follow 75, so 100% back off to 75, cross into the supraspinous fossa and just feed that out with no stretch at the end. And the second one, I'm going to bring it under the spine of the scapula, 75% stretch, so that's on the infraspinous fossa. And then allow the arm to come back. Using the back of the tape, heat activate the glue until you feel it's adhesed enough. And there we have kinesiology taping for shoulder pain to include supraspinatus, the bursa, and the infraspinatus.